Hey guys, if you want to solve Bayes theorem questions in less than 30 seconds, please follow the following instructions. First thing that you should know is about normal probabilities. Normal probabilities. So what are normal probabilities? It is like if there are two boxes, box A and box B. So what is the probability of selecting box A? So it is represented as probability of A that is equal to 1 by 2. So how 1 by 2? There are two boxes A and B and we have selected the box uh, box A. Similarly, if uh, you have to select the box B, the probability should be probability of box B equal 1 by 2. Now consider next case. If there are three boxes A, B, C, so what is the probability of selecting box A? So we have to select box A, total number of box 3, so we have to write in the denominator 3 and we have to select box A and there is only one box A, so 1. Similarly, probability of box B equal to 1 by 3 and probability of box C is also equal to 1 by 3. What if they have given in the question the probabilities of individuality? So if P of A is given as 60% and P of B is given as 30% and P of C is given as 10%. So you have to convert this percentage into fraction. So P of A is equal to 60 by 100 that is equal to 0 0.6. P of B is 0 0.3 and P of C is equal to 0 0.1. So you know the first step that is to find the normal probabilities. So the second step is about conditional probabilities. So conditional probabilities. It is represented as x over a. Now the meaning of x is selecting elements. And A means selecting elements from something. Let's understand this by an example. Suppose we have a box A. And the box A has 5 red balls and 2 white balls. So if we have to select a red ball from this box, what will be the probability? So we have to select red ball from box A. So it is a conditional probability. The answer should be total number of balls at the denominator and we have to select red balls so upper should be the red balls so answer should be 5 upon 5 plus 2 the total number of balls. so 5 by 7 so the base theorem is this this is the our novel first step the normal probability this is our second step the conditional probability and the question will be to find this now what this mean this mean the second step meant was selecting red or something element selecting element from box so the question will be the opposite, exactly opposite of that. Suppose we have P of X over A, the question will be P of A over X. If we have P of uh, uh, red balls over box A, then the question will be box A having the red balls. So we have to solve the straight away example to understand the concept clearly. So the standard question. Let's read the question. The first box contains two white and three red balls, while the second box contains four white and five red balls. One of the balls is drawn at random from one of the box, and it is found to be red. Find probability that it was drawn from the second box. Now your task is to find the first step that is the normal probability. Here we have to consider what should be A. Now here is the trick. A should be that value that has the element 
like it should be box or it should be earn somewhat like that it should be that something which has the element so in this case our a is equal to first box while b equal to second box so probability of a equal to half and probability of b equal to half so we are done with step 1 now comes the step 2 step 2 is conditional probability here our x and y are different we have to understand the question they want red balls and it should be drawn from second box so probability should be red over b or p of b over r you are confused in that so you have to understand it very clearly now uh, what what you know is the real question do you know that uh, there are some red balls in a in box b or you know that uh, b has some red balls is a confusing kind of thing but you should be sure that you know this and you don't know this how because we already studied that uh, we can select red ball from some box so red ball from a box will be 3 over 5 and probability of red balls over b will be equal to uh, 5 over 9 it is clearly mentioned there there are total 9 balls in box b or in second box you can say so total is 9 and there are 5 red balls in box a there are 3 red balls In box A, there are three red balls. So we have to take R of A. Here is three, and total is five. So we have done our first step, that is normal probability, and our second step, that is conditional probability. So what we have now, we have to write that perfectly. We have P of A. We have P of B. We have P of A, we have P of B, we have P of R over A, P of R over B. All right. Now we have to find the question. What is the question? Let's jump to the question. So question is: One of the ball is drawn at random from one of the box and is found to be red. So red is mentioned in the question. Find probability it was drawn from second ball, and we we know that it is from second ball. so we have already found p of r over p so question cannot be this the question should be opposite of that p over r apply the formula we have all of this now apply the formula according to the base theorem according to the base the formula should be uh, question is this p of b over r so formula is p of r over b into p of b upon p of r over b into p of b plus p of r over a into p of a so just plug in the answers and you will get answer like pi by 9 into 1 by oh, huh, pi by 9 into 1 by 2 upon pi by 9 into 1 by 2 plus 3 by 5 into 1 by 2 so answer would be 25 by 52 so it was very simple just you need to know that first is normal probability and second is conditional probability and just check what is asked in the question uh, and write and and form something like this you know this the question has this and the question has that and the two cases can be r over b or b over r so the one you have already so so the other would be the question now this is the second type of question where everything is given like selecting of a b c are given in percentage while the defects are also given in percentage of respective machines so it is a conditional probability now what is asked to be found like an item is selected at random and is found defective 
find probability that item were produced by machine C. So we have to first write P of A, P of B, P of C, the normal probabilities. Second, we have to find the conditional, the conditional T and uh, T over A, D over B, D over C. Now T over A is given two percent because it is given respectively. So two percent, then three percent, then four percent. Now defects over C, that is D over C is already found. So what should be the question? C over D. So apply the formula over C over D. And just plug in the values and you will get the answer.